Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol DIS Disney. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. If you're new to charts and not sure what I mean by 30 minute, I do offer an explanation video at that link so you can go there and I'll explain in detail. And then also from a disclosure standpoint, uh, I do own Disney in my uh, retirement portfolio from the long side. So just keep that in mind as I go. Well, I don't mean to state the obvious or, uh, you know, but I'm going to anyways, absolutely monster, monster move today. Not necessarily today, more so this afternoon, or I guess late morning, but when the news and all the headlines came out, you can see volume came pouring in and the price just obviously skyrocketed with it. So that makes this a very interesting uh, chart, not only from just the overall charting standpoint, but for you know a, a trading perspective, some interesting dynamics going on here. Um, and I definitely I traded this one today, and I will be looking to trade it potentially tomorrow. So a lot of this is kind of just me talking out loud for myself in terms of levels of support and resistance that I'll be keeping an eye on. But the first key level of support that I find very interesting, if there is some sort of pullback, is right here at 146.50. And you know the, the last part of the day, this you know these candlesticks here are suggesting. Uh, you know, a pullback could very well show up. Now, no such thing as a guarantee. And then also keep in mind, pullback is not the same as a reversal. So when I say pullback, I don't mean it's going right back to where it started down here in the 130s. My point is it would not be shocking at all to see the price, you know, move down here a little bit. So if it does, then, you know, like I said, 146.50, I find is a very interesting level. And then also from the support side of things, if there is a deeper pullback, then right there at 144 is also a very interesting level. So those would be the main levels that I'll be watching from the, you know, the, um, you know, more so kind of near term level. As far as very short, short term areas, keep an eye on those levels right there because if the price can crack through there, uh, then you know a bunch of shorts are definitely watching that area and that could definitely create more of a self-fulfilling prophecy to get it down to those areas. But those would be the main areas, like I said, of support. What about levels of resistance moving forward? First level is nothing fancy other than right up there at that big old round number of 150. And if the price can break through there though, and I'm gonna have to go to the daily time frame because the price has not been up this high for a very, very long time. And when I say that, I mean, we are talking, as you see here, we are talking months. We are talking years. We are talking <laughs> multiple years. All right, well, at this point, yeah, at this point, maybe we're at, maybe it's at all time highs, honestly. Uh, that this could be all-time highs. I, I guess I don't know that off the top of my head. Point here being from the technical point of view, I, at this point, 150 is what I would call blue sky breakout. So if the price can get above there, uh, then yeah, trade accordingly. But anyway, look at it, monster movement today, great volume. So let's see if the price can indeed break that round number of 150. Real quick, if you found this video helpful, then I'm very confident you'd find my live web class that I'm offering quite beneficial. If you're interested in learning more or getting signed up, you can go to claytrader.com forward slash live. It's totally free, um, so check it out. There's a link in the description area. And like I said, it is live, so there's a question and answer session. It's all very interactive. So go check it out, get signed up, and I'll see you there.